What's good, everybody? It's your boy. Oh, Shay Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I got an email from our good brother, Keith. I won't mention his last name. And brother Keith has been a faithful subscriber to the O'Shea Duke Jackson channel for many, 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 many years. And I really thank him for his support as well. I thank the rest of you who support me also. I, I, I Honestly, I really appreciate you brothers, really do. And you know me and my content strategy, I talk about things that affect black men, African-American men, and some of the brothers obviously that may have come up in America. Some brothers are from Nigeria, like uh, the Blackest Night. I have brothers out in London. I have brothers in South Africa. Brothers have support me all over the world. And if you're in a brother in the West, not, not necessarily really in Africa, but in the West, brothers of all ethnicities, whether it's the Nigerian American, African American, what you're gonna hear is this. You're gonna hear that drug dealers or pookies and ray rays are celebrated more than brothers that graduate college or do well in business or do well for the greater society or black America or America as a whole. And some people say, no, that's not true. Those are lies. But I beg you to look at this post from a brother named Antoine Clark. Okay. Now, shout out to the brother. Um, he shared a particular post and he says, and, and the post talks about um, Guy Fisher right now. Anybody knows Guy Fisher was a, a very big time drug dealer uh, in Harlem. And he was a part of the council. Now remember Nikki Barnes was the guy that was the biggest guy in the council. And then, and then Nikki Barnes gave him up. Okay. Uh, for, I believe what happened was Guy Fisher or some of the guys were sleeping with Nikki Barnes's woman while he was locked up. So then they, he got, then they, they took him down. So Guy Fisher has been in prison for over 30 years. And now he's here. It's big news. 73 years old, right? Here's what the post says. Welcome home, Guy Fisher. After years in prison, Nikki Barnes, co-defendant has been released from prison. Rumor has it Will Smith has opted out of playing Nikki Barnes for his up and coming series and has decided to play Guy Fisher instead. Now, if you look at some of the comments, we're gonna block the names. Day music. Welcome home, Guy. You deserve the best. Peace and blessings always supreme for real in New York City and Las Vegas. Give him a round of applause for that. Then we see salute on your freedom from incarceration. Then we have brother Richard who says, finally justice has been served. Randall says, awesome welcome home to the luscious Guy Fisher. Karen says, this is huge for the culture. So you guys see all of these comments, we'll put them there. We're not gonna show their names, but we're gonna put them there, right? And the thing about it is that you're giving a guy to some black men, now don't get me wrong, Guy Fisher has been educated in the, in the penitentiary and he has served his debt to society. He is now um, a different person, I'm pretty sure. But see the issue, the issue is this. This was the same thing that happened when any drug dealer comes home. Alpo, Alpo came home last year. Alpo was also, you know, from the, you know, Alpo Martinez, you know, he was the character that Cameron played and, you know, and paid in full, you know, he snitched on everybody. He killed Richard Porter. Now Alpo was out, everybody's like, you know, and he was the guy that was a snitch. Now, 
from what I understand, Guy Fisher never snitched. But the thing about it is, is that these are the guys that are celebrating the black community. Al Paul Martinez, get, every time you talk about him, it gets a lot of views. Hassan Campbell did videos on him. Um, there's a brother from Philadelphia, I forgot his name. Um, he was doing videos on him. You know, these guys are celebrated in the culture. But what about the black men who are actually doing something in the community? Do they get celebrated? I mean, Guy Fisher, in his former life, was terrorizing the black community with heroin. Do you know how many people he killed with heroin? Do you know how many black women lost their lives behind heroin? Do you know how many kids lost their lives behind heroin? How many broken families behind heroin? And this is somebody that we're celebrating. And now that he is home, because you're not celebrating him for him being a PhD, you're celebrating Guy Fisher from being a guy that was a drug dealer. See, this is the issue a lot of black men have. These are the guys that get celebrated. And the guys who actually go to school, the guys who do the things that are correct, uh, they don't get no support. That's a lot of black men are gonna see it. Here's a further reason why I don't need to be in the black community. Now, let me just say this. As a brother who understands both sides, my, my father was addicted to crack cocaine. I know how it is uh, um, being affected by drug dealers or drug users. But at the same time, you do not let the fact that some drug dealer or some guy who does the wrong thing get support from idiot people. Number one, for people who are stupid that support people like this, you don't need their support in the first place, all right? People who worship drug dealers, stupid rap artists, these are not the people that intelligent black men need to be getting support from. We don't need their support. The most important support you need are communities that you can create for each other. Intelligent black men, hardworking black men, the people who like the guys who are doing something, that's who you support. Stop worrying about people who support Alpo. I'm telling the black men, cause you can, you can point that out, but it, you worry about what you're supposed to do. I don't care. Even on my channel, my channel, I got a lot of critics. I don't look for nobody to congratulate me on what I do. I congratulate me on what I do. All right. And you have to understand there are certain parts of the black community you're not gonna win. The only thing you can win is what you do every day. And the brother has a point that yes, people like this are celebrated, but you need to celebrate yourself and get around people who celebrate you. Everybody not gonna celebrate scholastic achievements, academic achievements, but guess what? There are black people in the, in the, in the black community that do. Worry about them. The more intelligent, and, and don't let that be a use for as to why you want to go to the white community. Well, I'm going to go over to white America because black folks don't appreciate something. There are enough black people who appreciate you for what you do, brother. Worry about them. Don't worry about everybody else. You do what you're supposed to do. And don't use that as an excuse because Guy Fisher's getting all the props. Listen, you don't, people who support drug dealers and rappers and stuff like that, I don't even want them people in my corner don't need you you like people who tear down the black community drug traffickers and racketeers and mafias i i, I don't care about the, the, those people are those people are beneath me and likewise intelligent black men should not be looking to support people who are idiots that's just what it is but guys it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check me out, guys. Uh, here on the Metosphere. You know me, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Getting ready to hit almost 3 million views this month, hopefully. I've been pumping them out. And some of y'all, baby mamas, really like me. What? Too much. It's been real. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.